everyone, Lewis here for Pixel Surplus, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create realistic text effects on any surface using Adobe Photoshop. Let's jump straight in. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using the picture of a brick wall that I found on Unsplash, as well as the font Don Graffiti. Don Graffiti is a free to use font created by Don Marciano. This font was created to combine legibility with old school tag lettering. This bold font makes no apologies for its behavior, but will take full responsibility for its actions. This font, as well as thousands of others, can be found at Pixel Surplus. Links to Pixel Surplus can be found in the description below. So I'm going to begin by opening up the picture of the brick wall that I've just downloaded. If you found your own textured surface that you'd like to use, feel free to follow along as well. Everything we teach here can be applied to your own image. Now that my image is open in Photoshop, I'm going to head to the type tool or hit T on my keyboard and type out text effect. Now that I have my text, I'm going to head to the properties panel and I'm going to change my font to Don Graffiti and make sure my font is in white. I'm also going to scale the text to make sure it fits my artwork. Then I'm going to use the alignment tools at the top of the screen to make sure it's in the center of my canvas. Head to the layers panel and select the text effect layer. Right click and convert to a smart object. Awesome. Now I've got my text ready to go. Let's begin working on the background. I'm going to head to my layers panel, unlock my background layer, select it, right click, and duplicate layer. I'm going to select the drop down menu in the document setting and select new. Then I'm going to name it displacement layer. Then hit OK. This will now open a new Photoshop tab with your duplicated image. We're going to first begin by holding Control, Shift, and U on your keyboard to desaturate our image. Then we're going to head to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to change the radius to two pixels. Great, now we've created our displacement layer. Let's go ahead and save it. Hit Shift, Control, S to save as, and save it in a file where you can find it again quickly. You can hit X on the tab to close this layer now. Now that I'm back with my original image and my text, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my text invisible. Now I'm going to select my background layer, head to channels, and I'm going to create a copy of the red channel. I can do this by grabbing the red channel and dragging it to the create new channel icon. Now that I can see my red copy, I'm going to make sure I have that selected and I'm going to hit control L to bring up my levels panel. I'm going to grab the left input level slider and drag it to about 20 and take the right one to about 190. Anything that's black will be removed from my text and anything that's white will be left there. If you're working on your own image, or looking for a different desired outcome, then these settings might not work perfectly for you. But that's okay. Feel free to jump back to this point in the video and go through the next steps again. I promise with a little trial and error, you'll find the perfect outcome for your design. Once you've got your levels set correctly, hit OK. And with your red copy still selected, hit the load channel as selection. Head back to the layers panel, turn on the visibility to the text, select that layer and choose add layer mask. You should now see your text graffitied onto the wall, but we're not done yet. We're going to add our displacement layer as the perfect finishing touch. So select our text layer in our layers panel, head to filter, 
distort, displace. And we're going to use a horizontal and vertical scale of five and five. You can leave all the other settings the same and hit okay. Now find the displacement layer that you created earlier and hit open. The displacement layer is just going to allow those clean lines to ride the different textures of the wall. It's the perfect finishing touch to our design. And there you have it, how to create a realistic text effect on any surface using Adobe Photoshop. If you like what you've seen in this tutorial, please like, subscribe and comment. We here at Pixel Surplus want to know what you think. So get in those comments and let us know. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the link to both the photograph and the font can be found in the description below, as well as the link to Pixel Surplus. Pixel Surplus is home to the best fonts, textures, mockups, templates, and so much more, as well as the best font bundles on the internet. Premium fonts at 90% discount. I say it every time, but it still blows my mind. Head to Pixel Surplus and pick them up before they're gone. Thanks again for watching and have a great day, everyone.